Pinkney, Mr. Hurst, Mrs. Hurst, and Mr. Darcy. I can guess the subject of your reverie. You are thinking how insupportable it would be to pass many evenings in such society. I have been meditating on the very great pleasure which Elizabeth Bennet's fine eyes give me. I am all astonishment. <laughs> this room is full of people desiring to be our brother's friends. There should be no lack for guests should you decide to entertain. It does appear so, Louisa. Poor Jane is the only one who might wish to know better. But her mother is a disgrace. <laughs> I don't approve of you marrying Jane Bennet's brother. She is pretty, but her family is ridiculous and disgraceful. I agree. And she doesn't seem to like you much anyway. <laughs> She's an angel. I do not like his sisters, and his friend Mr. Darcy is very proud. We must all go to London so that you can meet Mr. Darcy's sister, Georgiana, because I hope you will fall in love with her. Farewell. I am afraid we may not return. <laughs>
Longville. He is paid Wickham's debts and is forced them to marry. They were in London and are now on their way to Longville. I think we need more tea. Yeah. <laughs> 